Okay, so today Donna's going to demonstrate an alternative method of using the enzyme mask. Okay, so Donna, why would you use this enzyme mask on Isla? The reason we're using it today is to help lift up some of the excess skin that you can feel when you touch it. It's not, the skin's not, there's no lumps or bumps or spots, it's just a build up of excess curtainisation. So I've mixed my enzyme with just water today, there's no base gel, it's just only with water. And in a minute I'm going to lay cling film on the tissue and then I'm going to be using my hot heated towels to help sort of enhance the treatment. So it's just going to be more advanced. And it's a shame because if you could actually fill the skin, you'd feel it's quite rough. And then after the treatment, the skin's going to feel a lot softer. But we've done some images of the skin before, and we're going to do some images of the skin afterwards. You should be able to see the change in it. So all I've done is just apply the enzyme neatly over the whole of the skin. And then I'm just wet with clean film. And just using the clean film and the heated towels will just make the treatment a lot deeper, will help to um, sort of aid in the penetration of the enzyme. And it's just a lot more of an advanced enzyme. And it does stay on once you've got the clean film on, it's on for a good 20 minutes to really help to desiccate those excess cells that shouldn't be there. So, one skin painted. So I'm now going to put my cling film over the skin. This is going to feel warm, so I'm not pretty So how have you heated these muslins up? We've got a, a, a cabinet which will just heat them up for us, but you can put them in the microwave, wet them and then put them in the microwave. We've made these masks ourselves, so it's, it's just an easier method to use instead of wrapping it with different towels and to get the right shape. And if someone's claustrophobic, it's quite nice because you've got the eyes open and the mouth open as well. Yeah. So what we're going to do, for the next, say, 20 minutes, we're going to keep changing these towels to make sure that they stay hot and warm. And then in 20 minutes' time, we're going to take the whole thing off. Okay, we're now going to show you how to remove the enzyme. This has been on for 20 minutes. So why are you massaging? Just going to massage it. The aim for the treatment during the enzyme today, because depending on what skin you have in front of you, will depend on the reasons for doing the enzyme in this way. So I'm just now just sort of feeling. So we've got a lot of um, excess skin around the uh, jawline. It's, it's like it's a form of keratosis pilaris. Um, so I want to make sure that I'm helping to lift that off and just massaging it in to just slow off those dead skin cells and by massaging it my hands were wet when we started and it would just help to remove the mask a bit quicker. So I'm going to close your eyes. Okay, so now So 
just going to pour water. Now if the skin was more congested and there's more sort of spots and blackheads, you can apply a, a thin layer of treatment gel on the skin first prior to putting the enzyme on, which will again will, it will just enhance the removal of the excess buildup of sebum and help to lift up the excess skin. A lot of therapists sometimes say, oh, is the enzyme enough? Is it going to clean my skin enough? Is it going to do the job? And the thing is, you've always got to ask yourself the question, why am I doing it? What's the purpose of it? What am I trying to achieve with the skin? And to be honest with you, to do the enzyme in this way, I'd say it's quite an advanced method. It is going to lift up that excess skin. And it's a gradual process. You don't want to sort of do too much too soon. You want to just gradually re-educate the skin to not have a build-up of it. Now that skin now is just, it's looking better and it's definitely beginning to feel better. So once I've taken off my enzyme with my mitts, I'm going to just wipe over with some soothing and then I'll carry on my treatment. And now as I've done this treatment this way, the skin is now more susceptible to allowing my products to absorb in. So just with some wet cotton wool, I'm going to just use my soothing lotion. What's the soothing lotion doing? Just getting off the excess? Yeah, just removing the excess again. And the soothing lotion will help to um, allow the, product, the products I'm going to eventually put on the skin to penetrate in better as well. But it's good, again, really for this purpose, it's going to be just to make sure I've got rid of all the enzyme, which I think I have. The skin's looking quite happy. Yeah. So you can feel a difference even yeah, after the, yeah, the one yeah, treatment. Definitely, so it's still definitely. gentle on the skin though. Yeah, very gentle on the skin. You can see the skin hasn't pinked up too much, but it definitely feels softer. But it, one treatment isn't going to solve the problem we've got here today. This problem with the skin is going to need regular treatments. Um, using the enzyme at home would be advisable. And just gradually re-educating the skin so it stops building up the excess customization. All done. Okay.